Welcome back to the Old School Auto Channel. Today we're going to be talking briefly about Larry Watson, an iconic automotive custom painter who started out in the uh, mid-1950s when he was only 16 years old. In 1955, Larry bought his first car, a 1950 Chevrolet, and pinstriped it himself. He gained notoriety by cruising to a local popular teenage hangout in his hometown of Belfour, California, the Clock Drive-In. And his painting expertise on his own car became so popular that often Larry would come home from school and find three or four potential customers waiting in his parents' driveway for him to start pinstriping and doing flame jobs on their vehicles. Eventually, when Larry graduated high school in 1957, he managed to start his own shop and quickly developed a strong following and a thriving business. He began inventing several different techniques which have carried on through the automotive customizing uh, field to this day. His original car, he changed to what we called the grapevine, which became very famous. He introduced several techniques, which are popular still. Scallops, seaweed-type flames, and these were featured on numerous vehicles throughout the 50s and 60s, Panel painting was another popular feature, which was first introduced by Larry with his brand new 1958 Ford Thunderbird. And here are some examples of cars that he had painted for various customers through the 50s. He bought a brand new 1959 Cadillac and quickly accented the lines of the car with his own style. He also painted numerous traditional hot rods. And his work continued to be promoted through various nationwide automotive and custom car magazines throughout the 1950s and into the 60s. Into the 1960s, Larry further developed another technique called lace painting, introduced to him by famous painter Von Dutch, using simple lace pattern fabric dress material as a template for customized paint jobs. Towards the mid-60s, Larry decided to get into acting and leave the automotive custom painting world behind, but he eventually returned. During his hiatus from automotive custom painting, Larry had various minor acting roles in popular TV shows such as Columbo, Mannix, Night Gallery, and Mission Impossible. But eventually he returned to automotive customizing and contributed to the hobby up until his passing in 2010. Hope you enjoyed a little taste of Larry Watson. And we'll catch you next time.